Welcome to the realm of the Ultra X. Ultra X. This one's the Rhino in 9CR18 MOV. Uh, this is a big dog. Uh, the Ultra X line, they've got knives in 440C, in this 9CR18, in D2. So you got choices. I thought this was nice that the Rhino comes in 9CR18 because it's actually a stainless. And for you, those of you who have D2 burnout, there you go. Open design, big old standoffs. It's a big old knife too. Deep carry pocket clip. Right hand only. You got a lot of texture on this green G10. And we'll take it apart here in a bit. Looks like Screwdriver City here. Uh, the rest of these, probably number sixes, but I don't know for sure. I can always try. And yeah, they're number sixes. But yeah, just use a regular screwdriver for that. Take it apart and look inside. Uh, nope, not skeletonized on the liners. And there you go. Lockup's pretty strong, 35% at least. Uh, disengage. Uh, it's uh, centered. No blade play. No lock rock. No issues there. Satin grind. Uh, kind of a modified Tanto look. Really good looking uh, knife. I like it. I like the overall design of it, but it's big. It's huge. Uh, and I like that about it, but it's not a light knife either. Four inch blade. Nine and a quarter overall. So it's what 23 and a half centimeters uh you know about a hundred and two millimeter length blade that's pretty big and uh 0.136 of an inch blade stock three and a half three and a half millimeters Something like that. And then overall fatness. Ah, six tenths of an inch. 15 millimeters. So, yeah. Outside. Doing it out here. Weather's so nice outside. Although, we'll get animals. We'll get traffic. We'll get, you know, we'll get it all. Nice bearings. You got your... Got your stop right there. Nice action on it. Like I said, a lot of traction here. Lanyard hole. Oh, it's a heavy dog. Let's see what we got for weight. Grams. 180 grams. So, yeah, that's that's a lot. 6.3 ounces. So, yeah, it's not only big, it's fairly heavy. Uh, jimping on top here of the blade, so you've got uh, some traction. Big old choil area. Yeah, you can actually go forward a little bit there. And is it sharp? Yeah. Yes, it is. Right out of the box. I like the design. The ergos are good. They fit me pretty well right here. As you can see. Around. Yeah. And for big hands, yes, plenty extra room on there as well. Absolutely. Reverse grip. Comfortable as well. Open design, easy to clean. And what's the action like? There you go. Drops nicely. Yeah.
follows you right around. Nice. Good action on it. So you're far back enough here that uh, flipper tab still hits you in the thumb. By that time, it's over the detent ball and down. I just, I just think these are cool. And of course, this sucker was a hole. I know, crazy money. $28.99. $28.99. Minus 10% discount, so almost $3 off of this. Getting into Ganzo territory there. That's a big dog. They said 7.27 uh, ounces. No, it's not. And three and a half millimeter blade stock. Yes. Satin finish, all that. Yes. I like it. It's just a big dog. It's, you know, it feels comfortable in the hand. Yeah, I know it's kind of heavy. Yes, I know it's big. I don't mind big knives. So this is a four inch blade, nine and a quarter overall. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't think skeletonizing the liners would have really helped much. Take a look at the other Ultra X models that uh, Justin has at White Mountain. Interesting knives. Maybe just for fun to get something different uh, from a different brand and check it out yourself. But yeah, I'm pretty ex I, I like the Rhino. Uh, the Ripple, I'll show you when I get it back from testing. It's a little bit more uh, sensible. It's uh, shorter. It's lighter. Blade shape's different. And it's D2. Supposedly, that's what we're going to get checked out and uh, get a Rockwell measurement as well so let's see what we got here screwdriver i mean we're gonna go that way aren't we i don't know which side uh, is the screw and which side's the actual pivot tube and i think i picked the right side there goes the screw right there so okay we can go in on the front side can't we and all these are number sixes. Wow. You'd have thought they'd go to number eight. But hey, $28 knife. What can I say? And a lot of the other higher priced G10 models are still holding number sixes as well. Haven't had this apart yet. I'm just curious to see inside just for shits and giggles. So I'm taking you guys along for the ride. And there comes the front scale off. Dump these puppies over out there. And that's the underside. And a little loop here or there, but pretty clean. And there's your liner. And no, it's not skeletonized. Not at all. And pull that off. Yeah, we got a D-shaped pivot there. That's, that's, hey. There's some consideration. Pull this off. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Like a stonewash looking thing there. Something. But it's not sharp edges or anything. So it actually feels pretty good. And there's your bearings. Those are big old dogs. They're not ceramic, but I didn't expect them to be. And yes, it's machined in front. And here you go, the detent track. Okay, I think we've, we've got it disassembled. The blade, detent, and the track. Uh, liner. Front and back. The other liner still attached to the scale here in the pocket clip, leaving that alone. Um, looks like a ceramic detent ball, though. Strange as that may seem. And then you've got the outer scale here. No problem. So I guess we can build this back through here. This is the way it was. Uh, here's your flattened part of the pivot. And it's coming right back up through here. Like that. Snap that right in. 
let's put uh, put our bearings on bearings throw a little bit of this around here flip it over a little bit there and uh, yes right through here and on kick it down next bearings in here and uh, oh you know what never hurts put a little bit of juice along here either you know really so back back to where we were kick it down it's in place we just need the uh, liner here <coughs> go back on top and of course let's put our stop in here okay we got the stop placed down and put everything right back where it was looks good put on the outer scale put on the screw pivot screw and my flat flathead screwdriver is just perfect size for this And I'm going to make sure this is locked down. And I'll come back and back it off. Let's go, buddy. I should get you. there okay looks pretty good back together again how's the action oh yeah really good nice centered up yep no blade play no problems like it yeah it's a good knife yeah solid Big, heavy, but I like it. I like the design. Let the sun shine in. Here it comes. One more look, and I'm out of your hair. The Ultra X line. Yeah, give them a shot. Uh, check them out on White Mountain. See what you think. But it's interesting. It's just a new brand name that I ran across because I was looking through his uh, through his online postings on eBay, and I'll roll through the knives he has posted. And you can search by price, high to low, or newest listed, that kind of thing. Check it out. See what you think. All right. Going to leave you alone. You know what we do? We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.